hello guys uh, good evening and welcome back to another vlog hey mm, yeah yeah all right so you guys are asking me to do a one year one ship review right so before that i want to tell you guys uh, why i got this bike that means why i bought this bike uh, rather than other bikes so let's go to the topic god today is so sunny i don't like this climate all right so moving on to the topic uh so i got many options to buy but uh, uh why i bought this uh, rs200 so many of you guys are messaging me towards the uh towards uh, which bike to buy and guys that is your opinion uh because you are the guys who drive the bike which you buy so it's your wish guys uh and this video will be useful for you guys maybe so watch it and uh, let me know in the comment section below if you got any doubts all right so this is bike is not my first preference and uh, first i thought to buy an rc200 instead uh, but uh, i had many uh, like doubts before before buying that bike and uh, i just compared some bikes between uh, rs200 and rc200 and an r15 so the rc200 and r r15 had uh, the aggressive uh, position like sitting position so after seeing those two bikes uh, uh, the r15 and uh, rc200 i believed that uh, those two bikes had uh, a good specs than uh, uh, this pazaz uh, rs200 so i finally got to buy an rc200 one day but before that day i just compared this uh, rc200 and uh, rs200 and uh, i'm little bit into touring so i i prefer like uh, uh, comfort mainly so rc rc200 doesn't give comfort in the long ride as it has an uh, aggressive position sitting position so and rs200 is much better than that and then i move my thoughts on to this bike the rs200 and just uh, uh reviewed the bike uh, on many channels and uh, many guys and many friends of mine so what they told me is this bike has vibrations uh, so i kept the vibrations thing aside and uh, compared the other things between uh, rc200 and an rs200 so the rc200 costs about uh, 1.97 lakh on road here and an rs200 uh, costs about 1.65 lakh on road in vizag uh, and uh, this uh, rs200 gets an abs with that but uh, so it doesn't come with the abs so and my choice now is uh, 60% oh, sorry so the 70% is rs200 and uh, 30% is rc200 and then uh, coming to the power the rc200 is much better than rs200 in the lower ends but uh, that is not a big matter uh, because in highways uh, this bike will do good so coming to the vibrations part uh, many of my friends and colleagues uh, had told me that this bike had many vibrations uh, and i got to research how to uh, decrease the vibrations in the rs200 and i saw many videos about that so i just convinced myself to buy this bike uh, but guys uh, what do you guys expect from a full fed bike 
uh, every full fed bike has a vibration problem so you guys can check that except rn5 i guess i don't know about that bike because i don't want it so you guys can check that with your friends or uh, any guys who own that bike own a firing bike mainly So after this research and all, I fixed this bike, the RS200 and uh, booked uh, this bike in uh, October. So I got the bike delivered after 10 days after booking. And now uh, it's been uh, 18,700 kilometers I have done on this bike and this bike is uh, awesome really I did not expect this bike to perform this well uh, that's it guys so if you guys like the video don't forget to click that like button and if you guys uh, uh, think that this video is useful so you guys can share it and yeah don't forget to subscribe see you guys in the next video bye bye